Today we're making vegan zucchini boats. Fake, cheesy, real delicious. Here's what you'll need. First thing, get your pot and boil some water. If it boils, let's go ahead and drop your zucchinis. We're gonna blanch the zucchinis for three minutes to make it brighter, and also it will reduce our cooking time when we bake it later. So after three minutes, let's take it off the boiling water. Strain it. The reason why I'm running cold water is so that it stops it from cooking. You could do like an ice bath as well. Seal in all the pores. Wipe it down with a paper towel. Get it all nice and dry. Next, we're gonna cut a strip on both sides. Serves. And we're actually gonna use these parts of the zucchini as well. We're cutting for both sides so it will lay flat and also uh, we're gonna scrape it all off and we're gonna stuff it with stuff. We got it all cut and now we're gonna scrape. I'm careful not to break the sides or like dig too far down that you're gonna break the bottom. And your zucchini should be really soft so, cause you blanched it earlier. So it should be soft enough that you could just poke it through with a spoon. So remember the skins that you took out earlier? We're gonna use them again. We're just gonna go ahead and chop them. And we're gonna use it to stuff the zucchinis as well. So now that you've cut everything up, just go ahead and set it aside and we're working on the stuffing. We're gonna preheat our oven to 375. And while that's preheating, we're gonna work on our stuffing. Get a medium-sized skillet, heat the oil, with two tablespoons. We're gonna start putting our garlic in first. Be careful not to burn it, just let it brown. That should be enough, and add our onions and tomatoes. Get it done to soften for about like two minutes. We add our zucchinis. Take the salt to go out of the moisture. Pepper. A teaspoon of paprika. Right, and just let it go for about five minutes so everything softens. Now we're going to take it off the heat, put it in a separate bowl, and let it cool slightly. We're gonna add the rest of our ingredients to it. The most important thing, taste it. Very good. So while we're waiting for this to cool down, we're gonna chop some dill. All right, bunch it all up. And just have at it. Now some walnuts over here. Get about a quarter cup of walnuts. We're gonna chop them all up. Careful, don't go crazy and like hammering them because it will fly out everywhere. All right, I just have to wait for this to cool down and we can mix it all together. So now that it's cooled a little bit, now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. Yeah! Add a third cup of cheese. Some nice handful of dill. A little pepper for good measure. A little pinch of salt. Mix it all up. Now you could use real cheese if you want, but we're using Daya cheese, which is like a vegan cheese. But goat cheese would go amazing with this thing. It's because I'm trying to eat healthy after the whole LA diet that we had. We just ate a bunch of things that were not really that great for you, but it was delicious. Speaking of LA, stay until the end of the video. Now I have an announcement and like how you can win awesome prices from the VidCon trip that we just had. All right, now that it's all incorporated, spoon it into the zucchinis. Look at all the pretty colors. We're gonna add a little cheese on top, just to nice and crust it all up. This is just for good measure. You don't have to do this, but I like the extra cheesiness. Da, da, da. Bake it for 30 minutes. And there we go. Now we wait. Ready? Let's get it. Mm. That's 
most delicious. Nice and soft. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. It's gonna burn my tongue. Let's take a little tiny piece and have a little schnapps on it. Yep, that was English. Mmm. Well, if you like zucchinis, this is amazing. Oh. Thank you for watching Roll of Yum. If you like our videos, please hit subscribe. And if you want more recipes or see some of the stuff that we were blog, please check us out at rulofyum.tumblr.com. Happy nomming! Hi guys! So, I hope you liked the recipe, but now I will... Oh. Why can't I do this? I hope you liked the recipe, and now it's time for the giveaway! Yay! Well, that's in the background. In case you didn't know, I was in California for two weeks. I was in Anaheim for like a week and LA for the other week. For the first week it was all VidCon in which I got to like hang out with my favorite YouTubers, got to like meet new people and I got to meet some of you guys which was amazing and just give me like hugs and pictures and awesomeness and gifts. So now I'm returning the favor and I'm giving a giveaway! Yay! Comes with this tote and it says Rule of Yum right there and my signature and I have for you guys, uh, the VidCon shirt, the Kikui cape, the little VidCon sticker, this little phone cleaner thingy. Here's a picture of us, Nick, me, and Will from Chef689, and RJ from the Not Adam channel. I hope it's blurry, hope you can see it. There, there we go, yeah. The wristband that says Just Add Tommy. <laughs> Brain fart. All their channels, I'm gonna put the link in the description box so you can check them out and say hi. Also, if you wanna see the vlogs from that trip, you can check it out in the description box as well. I'll put it down there. And oh, before I forget, uh, on top of all these fun things, I'm gonna give you an exclusive recipe that only you will have from me. In order to like win all these fun things, you have to answer a question. Say I have a platter in my hand and it is filled with your favorite food. Question would be, what would you do for your favorite food? Comment below and the most creative answer will win. All right, so and also uh, let me know if you like this whole little vlogging part at the end. Actually, I'm rambling already, so I guess I'll see you guys later. Happy nomming! Yes, sir. Can I help you? Yes, yes, my man. And our dog is going crazy. Oh, I think he, yeah, he found, found a new spider. You found a new friend? We will, we will eat you. Okay.